Hey, this is Tony Ross for creativecow.net. And in this lesson, I want to actually show you something that I've been getting a lot of requests for. And it's how to create a simple little video jukebox player, like having one video player, but having the ability to play multiple videos within that one single player. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first change my little layer name here. This is going to be my video player. Wow, that's spelled really cool. Tony will learn to type. Okay, now uh, what I want to go ahead and do is import some FLVs I've already got created. I've pulled them from public domain. So uh, let's do a file and import. Now I normally just simply do an import to stage, Command R or Control R, uh, and you can even do that with video. Okay, so going to grab something complicated. Hey, 01 FLV, 02 FLV, 03. Now you can name them whatever, just as long as you know what you're pulling. I like to use numbers because if I decide to later replace something like in my portfolio, I just know I have to replace that certain number instead of figuring out the uh, naming convention and go back in and changing my script. So let's grab 01 here. And it's going to open up our little import video wizard and I leave everything kind of normal. This is just pulling this off of my uh, little external hard drive there. So I'm gonna click on continue, progressive download, continue. And I kind of, this is where you can actually change your different settings here. I like this one, it's a uh, play and a mute. So uh, I'm gonna click on continue again and finish. Now, if you wanna get some more information on uh, how to create your own FLVs and everything. Uh, Lee Brimlow has some really awesome tutorials on that in the tutorial section. Okay, so I've got that set up. Now what I want to do is give this player an instance name. Uh, since this is public domain, I'm going to simply call it PUB and then player. Okay. Okay, that's set. Good. I can go ahead and lock this layer. And let's add another layer. It's going to be my buttons layer. Okay, now, uh, make some really awesome looking, really complex square buttons. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, let's click here. Let's convert this to a symbol, F8. And it's going to be our button, and I'm going to call it something really complicated like, oh, I don't know, button. Underscore BTN. Now, honestly, the underscore BTN is not that important in the library, but it is important in your naming conventions as far as your instance names. So, let's see. Okay, again with public domain here. So, uh, let's do PUB. 01 underscore BTN. Okay, now that BTN, once you're doing the instance names, comes in handy when you start doing action script a little later. Okay, now let's uh, copy this. Hold on our option key, Alt on PC. Click and drag this down. All right, and this is going to be two. Hold on our option key. Click and drag that down again. It's going to be three. Now, I'm a huge fan of, yeah, dude, this is like all over the place, doesn't really line up. I really don't care about that as much. Not right now. I like to make things work first, okay? And then, then you can make it pretty. So bake the cake first, then you frost it. Got it? Okay. So our instance names look good. All right, let's go ahead and lock that. Let's add another layer. This is going to be our actions. All right, now, let's open up our actions here. Now, what I want to do is start talking to our buttons. So, let's simply type in PUB01 underscore BTN. Okay, now this is where that underscore BTN really starts to show off. PUB01 underscore BTN. 
So the public zero one button. I simply press a dot here and hey all these extra hints show up and that's because we have the underscore btn okay now I'm going to simply type in O N capital R what I'm looking for is on release so I'm simply going to double click here and so I'm saying okay button zero one if I click on you and release you what I want you to do equals function as in this is what I want you to do okay let's put our brackets in here so we don't forget alright now what I want to do it's uh, gonna type in the name of our video player so it's PUB uppercase and then let's do okay public player dot Content path. Okay, content path as in where did that come from? So it's in our folder, our little FLVs folder on that external hard drive. So, okay, content path equals, and this is the very first one, so um, it will simply be 01 dot FLV. And that's in quotes. And let's do our little semicolon to finish that. Okay. Now, basically, if we click on button one and release that, what do we want it to do? We want it to, our little player, we want it to have the content path of 01.flv. Make sense? Okay. Now, just to make sure we've got that right, how do we know what content path it's actually using? going to unlock our video player here and let's look at our perimeters okay now if you look right here it says our content path actually is FLVs it's in that folder then 01 FLV okay hmm so let's copy that command C click OK let's go back to our actions and let's correct that and paste okay that's better now let's go ahead and test this command return join in the game a party calls for teamwork why nobody will have any fun unless everyone joins okay. in so join in wholeheartedly in any game suggested. Not and bad. You all have a okay. Of course, the other buttons aren't doing anything yet. Why? Because we haven't told them to. Okay, so let's go to our action script. And you know me. Let's just copy all of this. Command C. Control C on PC. Turn to our next line. Paste. Command V. Or Control V on PC. Let's say public 02 button. Okay. Everywhere you see the number 1, you're going to change it to 2. Let's try this out. Command, return. Join in okay. the game. Woody thought of Janice and how... Woody thought of Janice and wow. how good this looking This is actually kind of cool. What about 3? He'd really yep, have to really program it. somebody yep. like... Okay, now we've got to do the complicated part about programming 3. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. Let's do three and three. Command return. Join in the game. A part Woody thought of Janice. And oh, I don't know. I'd rather go out with Jeff, but I wish the others wouldn't ignore me so. Oh, Mother, that's the whole trouble. Jeff doesn't ask me. He just shows up. He knows I'll be waiting for him. That Jeff. What a goof. Okay, so if you notice, this actually jumps back to the beginning. Well, dude, what if you don't want that? What if you just want it to be on the end? All right, I will show you this one little trick that you can change. So I've got our little player here. Um, Auto rewind. Let's like sit right here. I can set it to false. 
Okay. So now let's try this out. Command return. Join in the game. A party calls for teamwork. Why, nobody will have any fun unless everyone joins in. So join in wholeheartedly in any game suggested, and you'll all have a lot more fun. Okay, so now that actually stops right at the end. And I'd just like to put on a note that them telling them this little thing of everyone join in and whatever suggested, that's probably what happened to the 70s. Okay, anyway. So we've got our nice little player here. We've got several things, and you can add as many movies as you'd like. But that's how that works, and it's pretty simple. There's no extra scripting or this particular one is not dealing with XML. It's just straight action script. It's action script 2.0. And I'm just controlling these three buttons. So I so hope that is a help. And this has been Tony Ross for creativecow.net. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. You don't have time to make it perfect. Rethink the idea.